every procedure that we do requires a certain amount of precision. Even though I've been trained to become a micro neurosurgeon, the current surgical tools are still lagging. We can do something that will advance global health care more than anything in the history of Western medicine, quite possibly with the exception of immunizations. We are at University of Texas Medical School. This is where I spend most of my career as an academic neurosurgeon and a professor. The school provides this fantastic environment for us to think and develop and invent. We have so many patients that are born with the spina bifida. Often we know there is a problem with the fetus during the pregnancy. Wouldn't it be fantastic at the second, third trimester when we detect the defects early on? Is there some sort of tool that can go inside the womb of the mother and able to repair those defects when they're very small? We have a current commercialized Da Vinci robot. Its size is too big and much more complex. We found that there's a limitations. So our engineering team set out to develop a microsurgical robot. Through single core because our we have a group of a, you know, 14 engineers with the five PhDs and seven master degree in engineering. We've been very fortunate that we've got several people from KAIST, which is the world mecca of excellence in robotic technology, and a lot of them have passed over jobs in industry that paid a lot more money. They believe in the project because they think that this is going to revolutionize the delivery of medicine in a way that right now doesn't exist. We have not only mechanical robotic engineering team, I have an electrical engineering team to build an interface. We have a computer science engineer write all these algorithms. We had to build and write our own software to control this robot. See, there's the different ports that will allow uh, different types of scopes and instruments to be delivered through this. We can provide access to super specialized care to people in remote locations that otherwise wouldn't be able to get that care. We could utilize the robotic delivery to remove a clot from someone's middle cerebral artery to prevent a major disabling stroke without them having to be right in front of me. With our surgical robot, it will be stationed some of the rural, smaller city hospitals, controlled by most qualified surgeons, doctors here in the medical center. So this is what we call telerobotic surgery. What if we could do that potentially, you know, 180 miles away or, you know, 4,000 miles away? With this robotic, telerobotic technology, I think that we can help many patients we can, you know, not only the city, but all over the world. We are trying to solve the greatest challenges in our time.